Hello, I'm Jonah Pin and welcome back to The Last Plague Blight, where I think today we're going to try and go to the swamp. I've got most of what I need together. Um, I've got some of this uh, bergamot leaves so we can protect ourselves from insects. And I've also made, got some food. We're going to make the leather water skin and some gloves. And I'm going to make another shield because mine's pretty much broken. Uh, I was just looking at this uh, concoction to cure blight. And it is good. It does cure our blight. But it's also poisonous. Obviously it's made from poisonous mushrooms. So there's still obviously some residual poison. But it's 8.7 as opposed to yeah 5.7. So if you ate one of those, pretty well much dead. But um, yeah, it, it is going to hurt us. So if you drink that... We're going to need to go with like some chamomile tea or something as well. So I'm not going to take that for the moment. I think instead I am just going to drink that water. Just drink all of that. And then we'll we'll make a water skin. We'll boil up a load more water. And uh, get that. Oh my god! Oh, there's a bloody... God damn freaking bloody... Ugh. Well, at least we can find out what the uh, hamster's shield. Bloody coyotes, you suck. There we go. That's what, what happens with the shield. Oh, it just breaks. Oh, do I get... Oh, I got my stuff back. Alright. Screw you, buddy. God damn it. I was just trying to talk to everyone. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do get some leather pieces. Okay, and I get some short planks back. That's not enough to fix it, though. But, um... Alright, well, that's cool. Uh, so, let's just continue with what I was talking about. I'm going to boil up some water. Uh, oh. No, I just want to put that in my hands. Boil some water, and then uh, we can uh, get that boiled. I can make the water skin, fill that up, and then we can uh, head out after that. So, oh, yeah, you damaged that. Oh, joy. Well done. Um, let's ignite that. I'm going to need to chop some. Uh, I'm going to need to make some firewood. I've got some thick logs under here. Let's break those. Uh, so that's good. Well, at least we found out what happens to that. So we do get some materials back. I think we lose nails and obviously we lost some planks and that as well. But um, we did get our leather back, so that's pretty good. Um, I did manage to tan up that um, uh, wolf hide as well, and that's now on the frame. I think we might need to make some more of those as well because I've got three um, hides ready to go, but obviously they're just sitting there. So uh, let's add that in. Oh, crap. I didn't click boil. Bollocks. We got interrupted by a bloody goddamn wolf. Right, okay. <sighs> Fair enough. Right, there we go. Now it's boiling away. Uh, but yeah, I got these three hides in here. Let's just add that in there as well, which obviously you can do... Am I getting a... hearing another one? Hearing things. <laughs> I just thought I heard another growl then. Um, but yeah, I, I can do three, or I can do four hides. But obviously I need another tanning frame, so I think that's the way to go there. Um, so let's make... Uh, we'll make the gloves, because that uh, helps us with uh, handling contaminated substances, which is what we're going to do. That's the whole reason to go out there. So let's do that. Uh, let's make the water skin next as well. And then I can carry some water with me. Uh, there is... Oh, there's actually a slot for the gloves. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. And then I need to find some nails, I think it is, to make. I think I've got some nails. Yeah, there we go. We've got some nails. Then we should be able to make the... Let's have a look. Uh, the shield. There we are. That's good. We need to make one of those as well, because, yeah, that dumbass broke mine. So there we go. Uh, we do have two left. I could make another one of those backpacks, but I think I'm just going to kind of hang on to that leather for now. could make, like, another one of those small bags. I've got one. Hmm. Let's make two. Screw it. Let's make two, shall we? We might as well. It says one or two, I think, in the journal, doesn't it? Let's have a look. A mysterious letter. Uh, oh, it does say uh, equipment like gloves for interacting with these substances. Okay, so that is, that is good. Uh, it says one or more leather bags. So, yeah, let's do that. I guess the more samples, the better or something. So, either way, that's fine. We'll just let that boil up. Um, we'll put that in there and then we'll just put this stuff in here. We'll let that boil up. I can then fill this water skin. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go out and collect some uh, small stones uh, because... Uh, ooh, where are we again? I always find it hard to find this place. There we are. So we're around here. If we follow this road all the way down to here, 
Um, and then I cut across. If I put some of those rock cans down, um, I should be able to just find my way back, um, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do that. We'll go out get some uh, get some small stones to make those. And uh, yeah, whilst I wait for that to boil up. So let's just go and do that, shall we? Okay, so that is boiled up. So let's fill this water skin. There we go. Right up with water. And then I'll probably just drink. The oh, bloody... Go away, you son of a biscuit, man. But that he... Go away. You suck. I don't know who you... Are you the same there? You're obviously not the same one, but... There, ah, you're stuck. Daddy coyotes, that's twice now. God damn it. Okay, right. Well, did that fill up? Yes, it did. That's good. Uh, let's drink the rest of that. We might as well and fill up our thirst before we go. And then hopefully we don't interrupt, get interrupted by one of those bloody things. Uh, I also um, cooked up some of these uh, roasted milk thistles, uh, which gives you 5% uh, less susceptibility to blight. Um, I'd done that in between the episodes, and it gives you one minute. I'm assuming they stack. Um, I think it was sacrificed in the comments, said make some. He didn't say what they did, he just said make some. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, if we go this way, I'm going to pick some blueberries and stuff like that along the way as well if I see any food. Uh, I've made a bunch of these cans as well, so we've got half a dozen. That should be enough uh, to be able to find our way back. Um, so if we come down here... To, oh, god damn. Go away. I'm really dreading these swamp lands. I'm not sure whether we're ready for it, to be perfectly honest, but there we go. There could be bears and all sorts in there. Uh, let's grab a blueberry bush as well along the way. Um, so yeah, if we continue down here, we've just turned down there, get to another turn, when we get to this turn, there should be a lake there, and then there'll be another one, and then that one there should be where we need to go, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to grab some blueberries along the way, just for some extra food. We do have, and there's milk thistle as well, that's a pretty decent uh, food as well, so uh, we'll grab some of that. But um, yeah, those milk, roasted milk thistles gives us slightly less blight, because I'm assuming we're going to have to go out into the blight to get whatever it is that we need. Um, not too sure there's some more milk thistle there but let's just continue going this way I really want to loot absolutely everything but time is obviously of the essence so I think grab up a bit of food and then we'll kind of uh, just make a move I don't think I want to spend too much time doing this um, I don't think we'll get to their camp today because that's miles away um, I mean I guess it's not too far away but I've got to navigate to it that is it's over here so there's our camp I mean the best way, I think, is to cross over the ford and then go this way around. It's probably the best way. And then hit the hit this um, forest and kind of follow it up that way. That would be my assumption is probably the best way to do that. But uh, that might not be the best way. But I don't think we're going to get that done today. But we'll see how long it takes. Uh, it might not take too long to find this, uh, this sort of contaminated substance, whatever it is we're looking for. I'm assuming it's not these because uh, I'll be seeing those out here as well. But um, I'm assuming it'll be fairly obvious, whatever it is. So let's just keep running along this road. I'm just going to keep grabbing a few little bits and bobs. But like I say, I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Otherwise, uh, they'll be gone and I'll just been picking flowers and seeds and stuff. Okay, right. So we've managed to get to the turn. So if I drop one of these cans down somewhere, uh, like say there, that should then give me a nice navigation point for me to get back. Uh, if I get out... Am I hearing a keep hearing walls and stuff okay right let's put that there and then we can kind of navigate so yeah so if we follow it this way we should now be here if we follow it this way we should pick up the tip of the swamp and uh, yeah be able to find whatever it is that we're looking for uh, i did make a couple of spears as well let's just eat those couple of uh, ones get them out of our inventory there we go that's great um yeah that's all good and then we'll just can we'll just go along place a few of these down so we can just find our way back. So let's go uh, this way. Just get around here a little bit. And then we'll place another one. And then if I see those, then uh, you know I know uh, I'm roughly where I am. So let's do that. Kind of keep placing them that way. Uh, but if we just keep going this way, we should hit where we're looking for. So that's good. So let's just keep going and I'll drop another one down in a minute. But... Ah, this could be it. Yes, no, maybe so. Let's drop another one down. Let's go a little bit further. There we go. That's good. 
probably should have put it on that hill, but never mind. Alright. Ah, this. Oh, autosave. Oh, great, coyote. Yeah, this kind of looks like it, doesn't it? This is starting to look a little bit swamp-like. Oh, God. Okay, right, let's get the shield out. I think we're going to need that. So... Yeah, we're going to need to put those bergamot leaves, I think, on us, aren't we? Yeah, let's put these on. So if we apply that... Uh, that gives me four minutes. If I apply some more... Can I just apply all of those? Oh, yeah, that's stacking up a little bit, isn't it? So it's giving me 13 minutes. Let's just do that. And then we'll do that again. And that's going to give me, like, 21 minutes of protection. So, okay, that's fine. Yes, we're here. That's it. Yep, that sounds about right. Kind of looks sort of misty and murky, doesn't it? So, yeah, like I say, I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's going to be in the blight. But I don't think it's going to be those, because those are just blighted funguses, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's like blighted fungus, which we've already seen before, so it can't be those, but yeah, right, let's have a look. So let's have a look at the journal, J, mysterious letter. Look for any items or substances glowing within the blight, uh, ideally near the edge of any infected areas. Be careful about exposing yourself. So I have got to go into the blight. Hmm. I don't think it's these fungus, though, because we've already got those around about, haven't we? So I can't think that it's that. Huh. Okay. I don't know, maybe it is that. But I don't think it is. It's a long way to run to find out, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think that's it. I think it's going to be something else. Blighted substance or something is what it's going to say. So, just keep going this way. We know that if we head west, we can get out of here, so... Okay, with that, I'm hoping there's no, like, uh, oh, let's apply some more of this stuff, shall we? Stand in the middle. I'm hoping there's no, like, crocodiles or snakes or anything here. That much, I hope. So, let's just get those in. Any way to just apply that with a lot of, uh, a lot of them can be placed on the ground, yeah. Uh, we can eat that as well for the blight effect, but I think we'll do that once we actually decide to go into the blight. Slime. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that could be it. What do we reckon? I reckon that's a slime. I reckon that could be it. Okay, let's put that in our offhand. Let's also... I mean, if I just eat one of those, I'm assuming if I eat, like, 16 of them. Yeah, that's going up nicely. It's good. Right, I reckon slime. What do we reckon? I reckon slime, so... Definitely want to drink out of that. Right, let's go in there and grab that. 150 grams of slime. Do you reckon that's it? Slime, question mark. I mean... Let's hang on to that for the moment. Let's see what else we find. Um, because, as I say, these blighted fungus... I don't mean... I guess we could take a blighted fungus and a slime. Uh, let's see what else we can find knocking about here, though, first. Um, before we go too much... Go too crazy with it, but... Yeah, man, I really don't like this. I'm hoping there's no snakes or anything in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that slime is possibly it, but maybe we should take a fungus as well. But like I say, they're everywhere, so they're not exclusive to this area. Oh, boy. Twig. Dog's bane. Young blighted fungus. Blighted fungus. Young blighted fungus. And again, maybe we should take some of that stuff. Maybe, I'm not sure. Ah, so are we out of this? I think we're out. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's back at base, you know. It's it's close to home, so I don't think that's it. But should we take... I'm kind of leaning towards maybe just taking one of those, but I don't think that's it. So maybe we should take some more of that slime. We've got two bags. I don't see any reason in not filling them up. I'm never going to be able to find that slime again, am I? <laughs> yeah, I should have picked it up. I should have picked it up. Could have, should have, would have, though, I guess. But, you know. There you go. You can kind of tell. Yeah, there's some more slime. Should we go for it? Should we take the... I'll say, I don't think it's the fungus. So, I 
don't think that's it. Let's go in there. Little boy. Yeah, slime. I reckon that's it. Oh crap, we've got the uh, these dudes. Let's apply some more of this as well. We need to get out here. It's those uh, insects, isn't it? Let's get out of here now. Keep applying that. Let's apply some more of that. Yeah, our blight. We've got to we've got to drink that stuff when we get back now. That much is for certain. It's all question marked and stuff. So I don't know. I don't think it's those fungus. And there could be something else that I missed in here. That is entirely plausible. Um, you know, I could have missed something else in here. And that's, you know. Like I say, yeah, I, I think it's that. I do think it's that. Right, let's get the compass on us. Uh, oh, there's the compass. I've dropped it then. Right, let's go south. We'll be able to get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. And then if we head back this way, then we should be able to get out of there. Yeah, let's say, I don't think it's that. The slime is the only thing I saw in there. So, I'd say, I think the only way to find out, though, is to go over there and talk to him. Because it says, collect any blighted substances you find and bring them to Elric. So, I could have missed something else in there. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go there today. Although, I guess we could do. We could do. Now we've got to cure our blight, haven't we? Because we've now got um, yeah, no hunger and thirst. So yeah, we need to get back and mix that stuff up now, and um, yeah, get it sorted because uh, yeah, that's not going to be good. So yeah, if we go. Oh, hang on. If I go this way. I'm kind of making a pig's ear of it. Hopefully, I can find one of those uh, cans. But I think. Man, I may have got totally lost. It's a rabbit. I think there was should pick up the road at some point. So, yep, there we go. I'm a little bit higher higher than where we left, but that's fine. That's cool. Right, we found the road. We can get back now. That's brilliant. Um, so we want to try and cure the. But oh, hang on. Where am I? Uh, I think I'm down here somewhere. That's fine. That's fine. We're a little bit lower than where I entered. That's no bother though. That's good. So yeah, I think we're okay. So if I just follow this, oh boy, yeah, there we go. Just skip around that. Yeah, if I follow this back, I should be. There we go. Yeah, brilliant. That's great. So the next, the next challenge is going to be navigating your way to those guys. But I think for now we got to get back, sort our blight out because our hunger, hunger, thirst, and our stamina recovers a lot lower. We're like. 37% faster thirst and 37% faster hunger drain so uh, we've got to try and lose that now uh, I'm not sure whether getting that second slime sample is worth it I hope that's it uh, also, let me know your thoughts do you think that's it I think it is because um, if I find some more there yeah look it's the blighted fungus is there there's no reason to go to the swamp if that's if that's the thing I'm supposed to pick up um, other than to send you with a harsh environment I guess but I, I feel like that slime is the, is the thing. So I'm going to go with that. But um, I'll say the only way to find out is to get up there. So you have to find it and then bring it to him. Which is going to be a journey in itself. But um, anyway, let's just get back to camp. And we'll try and cure our blight, shall we? And then we'll have to do a bit of building. Oh, so great. It's bloody coyotes. And I, I really don't want to fight you guys. So I'm going to just ignore you. Okay, so I've made it back to base. Uh, what I'm going to do is drink some chamomile tea first. So I've already got some healing effect. And then we can start making that uh, other thing. Uh, I figured that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it'll start healing us. That lasts for a good amount of time. So, And then uh, we might just need to keep drinking tea or something. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit rough to say the least. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... I figured if I've already got some healing in me, that's a good start. So let's get that going. I think I've still got some more contaminated meat uh, that I can just burn up. Yes, I have. That's great. Let's get that over there. And then we'll start making some... Uh, we'll start perhaps working towards... There we go. That's good. Uh, we'll start working towards maybe getting this um, clay mold up and running. Uh, do some more stuff like that. Maybe get the anvil going and uh, work on the bloomery or something like that. It's probably one of the next things to do. Um... So that's good. So we've got to boil this up. 
and then we've got to make this T afterwards. Uh, so it was 20. I think I've got my ratios roughly right. Uh, what was it? It was four spotted mushrooms, one ginseng root, and 20 grams of salt for 50 mils of water. So we should have about it's 140. So I put about 11 of those in, and about that amount of salt and three ginseng roots. That should should roughly get us there. Can we do anything with these ginseng roots? No, fair enough. So I thought we could crush them up or something. Right, there we go. And then we're going to try and get rid of this blight. So let's put that in there. Oh. Okay, that makes you drowsy. Fair enough. Let's put that in there. We put that in there. We don't have enough heat for that, but that's fine. Let's put that there. So we can just kind of keep extracting that a little bit. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's cook that then. Uh, can we not boil that? Not enough heat. Uh, what? I mean, not enough heat. Okay, what's going on there? Right, let's throw these in then. I mean, not enough heat. That's weird. 100 degrees, is that it? Right, there we go. Hmm, why is that so... Is that because the, the meat might not be very good, actually, at boiling? Um... So yeah, we're then going to drink this. That should get rid of a big portion of our um, infection, or at least get the blight down a little way, but it's also going to hurt the hell out of me. So uh, I think really another batch of uh, chamomile tea might be the way to go. It might have been an idea to put, do it in the big pot. I really don't know, but um, let's go there anyway, and we'll grab some more chamomile. Because, yeah, we're going to be drinking a lot of fluids. So there you go. So that's all going. So we've got to do a thousand mils, so we might as well start working on that next. And we also need, what do we need for the bloomery? Let's have a look. I think we'd, yeah, we've got those, so we just need the bricks, don't we? Um, did I have the bricks? I think I put them in here, but I don't think I fired, yeah, I didn't fire this up, because I need charcoal, but that's okay. I'll have to make a charcoal thing then, I guess. Hmm. Let's collect all this up anyway. We might need to do a little charcoal pit. That might be the next thing to do, actually. Uh, let's go here. Let's just throw that in there for the moment. That's possibly too much. It might be too little. All right, let's see what we get here. Flawed quality. If we go there, poor quality. Okay, well, that's going to give me good quality bronze, but that's only 700, so I don't have anywhere near enough copper to be able to make that. So, right, this stuff is... Right, let's unleash the pain. Let's go. This is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Okay, so let's get the um, let's get this going straight away again. I want to get some more chamomile in me and keep that going. It all counteracted a little bit. Um, it's not a lot, but it's going to be a little bit. So let's go there. Should be taking the blight down though, so that should help. Um, but yeah, we're taking some damage uh, but we are getting a little bit back we're getting a 0.5 so actually that's negating it quite nicely and then it is slowly stripping away the blight as well so this should work out well hopefully uh, so yeah I've got some more meat we'll just use that to boil the water I think definitely the way to go there we go let's fire that thing up boil that and then we'll get another chamomile tea on the go I think that is definitely it so I need a ton more bricks. So let's make the, uh, where are we? Burning. Small charcoal. Oh man, sticks going to be a nightmare, aren't they? And then I need mud or dirt. Oh boy. I'd kind of like to make the big one, to be honest. So sticks going to be a bit of a problem, but uh, that should be okay. So if we get firewood, let's chop up another one. I should at least be able to get the firewood. So there's no bother. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. That chamomile is doing a good job of counteracting that, although it has stopped now, right? Yeah, I think it's stopped, but we've only got 13 minutes left, but it's stripping that down. I may need to go again, but, you know, right now, I think if we just get it down a little bit, that's something. Right, so we're going to build one of those. 
uh, where do we put it? Let's just kind of move it somewhere over here. Out of the way. I think we'll survive this, but we might, no might not survive another one. So let's put that in there. Put those in there. Got mud or dirt. That's no bother. I can find that. That's good. So, let's just drink that. Oh no, I need to actually make the chamomile tea. There we go. I don't think that's good. Oh, that is hot enough. There we go. That's good. And then that will counteract that. Uh, we're going to be kind of sleepy though, but yeah, we're going to need to go again to counteract that blight a little bit more, but it's reducing that right down, isn't it? Uh, it was like 37% or something, so uh, that's good. Yeah, let's just drink all of that again as well. It's going to get that up. Um, do you know what? We should probably just... We're going to need another concoction, I think. I want to get rid of that blight, so... Let's do that. Let's go there, that's fine. That's not enough to boil, is it? I think I might have some stuff in here. i got a couple of pine cones, that might do it. Ooh, just. There we go. That's perfect. It's great. Right, so that blight has now finished. And it's got us down to 12, and we're only at 5% hunger and thirst. That's pretty decent, actually. I think another drop of that. So what were, what were we at? I think we'll be okay. Um, another one of those. I guess we could make, like, a slightly weaker concoction. Maybe, like, half the uh, amount or something. Um, so it doesn't do quite so much damage to us. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty good. So we want some dirt. Let's just go and scrap some dirt over here from somewhere. Uh... I need dirt. I don't want sand. Dirt, there we go. Let's go and grab some of that. I know we can start working on that um, charcoal kiln. So we're going to need a lot more copper to be able to make that. But I've got all those copper ores, so I could just break those up, actually. And the tin, so that's not too bad. Oh, we had about a thousand, wasn't it, I think? There we go, that'll do. It's good. I can work on that next. So we've got that. So if we throw that in there. Oh, I need 10,000? Oh, alright. Okay, damn. I was a little bit off there. I wonder, if, I wonder if the shovel does any better. Does the shovel do any better? Point, actually. Rather than just scrounging about on the floor with my uh, hands. I should, uh, should try and just uh, go with the shovel and see what we can get out of it, shall we? See, ground, mud. Does it really matter? Dirt. Oh. Oh, damn, yeah. Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh, a big hole there. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. You know, you get it really fast doing it that way, don't you? Kind of makes sense. Put all of that in there. So we're halfway. It's all good. And then we need to go out and find some sticks. Uh, the fact that the blight isn't too bad now, I'm a little less worried about that. Dirt. Let's just go and dig some more, shall we? Yeah, damn, man. Okay, that's good. That's going to be plenty. Yeah, that shovel is really handy. Nice. That is good. Right, let's then throw all of that into there. Just going to throw the rest of it away. There we are. So I just need to go and collect some sticks, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But, um... I do have enough tin and copper to be able to... Bloody rabbit. I thought it was going to bring a... I was just waiting for a freaking wolf then to come along and just... Yeah, take me down. So, uh, we've got copper ore. So we could grab like some of those. There we go. And we've got tin ore as well. If I grab like a um, stone... I've not checked my rabbit traps for a while either. I've not really been using those, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's going to require a lot. And then, obviously, heating-wise, I might need... Well, we're at 30 minutes. We've got 40 minutes, so... We might be able to do this. We might not, though. Let's see how it goes. Just chip up that. Should be enough. 
Yeah, and then if we chip, break all of that up as well. Like so. It's probably way too much tin, but there we are. So we're going to try and find the ratio. So that's another 800. Still good quality. Still 800 mil though. Dang. Let's split that in half. Let's split that again. Good quality, just slightly over. Right, there we go. Good quality, 1,000 mil. I am just three minutes of charcoal off. Damn it, man. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay, so we've got to make the charcoal next. There's no real um, ways around it, is there? We've got to kind of make that charcoal. Uh, we're getting really sleepy as well because we've drank like a cup of chamomile tea. So, yeah. Uh, we need a better healing substance than that, really, I think. But um, for now, uh, let's just get... Let's put the loose bits back in the way. It's all great. Uh, let's throw that away as well because we don't need that. I think I've got a clay spot over here. There we are. That's good. And then we can put some rocks away. And then really we just got to go and find some uh, stone. That's really what I've got to find now. Okay. Uh, not stone. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not stone. i got to go and find sticks. That's what I need. So, yeah. I'd like to get that going, but um, yeah, we've got to we've got to get the charcoal pit up and running. So what do we need for that? Uh, we need like 20 sticks. There's a lot back down the road that I just ran down, so I could go down there. Yeah, let's just go down there, shall we? Okay, here we go. I'm back at the camp. I've just been down and grabbed a ton of stuff, mostly sticks and long sticks. Obviously, I can cut the long sticks up into short sticks, but I kind of need those for building, so uh, I want to kind of hang on to those as long as I can. So let's get that in there, and then we should be able to put this thing together and then get this going. And then once we do that, we should get a decent amount of charcoal. I think we got, what, 15 bits out of the um, small ones, so maybe we'll get like 30 or something out of this one. Uh, I'm not too sure, but let's get that going. Oh, 40. Oh, that's even better. It's going to take most of the night, but that's fine. So there's not much I can do uh, with this until that's finished. Um, I can light it, but I'm just three minutes short on fuel. So uh, there's not much point doing that. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait. Uh, but like I say, I've got a bunch of sticks, so we could throw some of those into here. I think it was... Was it sticks? Or was... Oh, that one's all ready to build, actually. Uh, it's this one is the um, I'm waiting for the pine ones aren't I so uh, that's fine uh, but uh, yeah uh, I think for now I think this is a good place to call it though and I think we'll end the episode there so we might try and go to the um, camp of the uh, cloaked figure in the next one we'll see how that goes uh, it's going to take a bit of time to navigate over there we might need to prepare some more um, food and that sort of thing but um, yeah, as I say, I think for now, I think this is a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, kind of thoughts down below, subscribe for more, I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.